This thing looks actually like really nice. What's your, your reaction? Oh, that actually looks really good. What is up guys? Welcome back to the Omega Greed YouTube channel where we do a whole bunch of fun things with cars and we learn how to work on all the cars together. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jeffrey. We do videos on the 2017 Dodge Challenger RT, Hyundai Veloster N, Lifted Jeep Grand Cherokee, and the uh, NB Miata, which is exactly what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we're doing a video on the Miata. So uh, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. It really would help out the channel a lot. And while you're at it, give me a like and comment below. Uh, but with all that out of the way, today we are going to be painting the valve cover on the Miata. Um, I talked about this in my last video. This, you know, it's, this is definitely more of a ricer mod to do. It doesn't do anything. But it's a nice, cool look, at least for right now. The plan for the Miata is to eventually turn it to the autocross track vehicle. I was going to go a more budget route, but now I, more and more I've been driving it, the more and more I like it, the more and more I want to do things legit. So I'm not going to do things budget, I'm going to want to do things more legit with the Miata. So down the line, I'm going to be doing you know better upgrades and more and more stuff like that. Uh, but at least for right now, I just kind of want to clean up the engine bay a little bit, make it look a little bit different. It's nothing too crazy, but I think it's a nice mod to do. I've seen when people do it right, it looks well. So uh, yeah, that's what we're, what we're going to be doing today. So. Without further ado, let's jump into the video because this should be a fun thing to do. Let's do it. All right, guys. So as you can see, this is my engine. I have the 2001 NB Miata. Different thing with this, and I know some of the NAs, what they have is they don't have this. I believe this is a, I forgot what it's called. I think it's like either like an oil return or something like that. No, it's there's a correct term, uh, BB, whatever. You, so I'm sure someone in the comment section below will correct me. All right, guys so we have a lot of the bolts off or the uh, nuts off I wasn't uh, one thing I didn't do I wasn't actually use the impact wrench but I did see a lot of people saying if you use that you can snap some of the uh, things so I'm, I'm not gonna do that it's actually it's, it's not that hard doing it with like a with the actual like manual wrench it's not that hard right, so the thing is so I got all these ones off these little things this is the only, uh, I have to take this off and the bracket for this 
and that and I think that should be just about everything um, yeah and it's going pretty well it's nothing really that hard I know I believe this thing I did see you have to kind of wiggle this to take it off and I think once this is off the whole thing you have to like lift it straight up because this there's something going straight up so you can't like take it off at an angle at least that's what I've seen I will let you guys know how it goes for me but yeah it's not going it's uh, just going pretty smooth so let's keep going Okay guys, so I'll give you guys a quick update. This, it's not like it's super hard, it really isn't. It's a little bit more work than what I'm, what I'm thinking, well, what, at least what I thought, because I, the NBs, they do have this extra bracket that's on top of the motor, so it's a little bit more work to do a lot, to do a lot of the same stuff that you would do with like the more the NAs, the earlier ones, but. All right, so here's the thing. So I got everything off. You have to get this, this thing off as well. The only negative thing is I'm seeing to get this bracket off, you have to take off that bolt, but head gasket it, it wants to come off it's basically ready to come off but i gotta i mean i could technically get this part up high enough and just slide it off oh but then when i put it back on i just don't want to scratch up the paint i mean i could technically just lift this thing up uh, nah because that's that's too high you need to lift it straight up so that has to come off and you need to get that bolt off to kind of do it it's not, this is not, this honestly isn't all that hard, like, at, at all. But I'm just thinking, like, do I really want to do this? I mean, I, I do. If I can't do it, I'm just buttoning everything back up. Um, but, hey, at least I'm going to show you guys, hey, when I fail, I fail. When I do it right, I do it right. I'm going to show you guys. So, uh, yeah, let me keep going with this. Oh, hey, guys. This is day two. I'm gonna give it one more shot. I saw a video of someone else doing this and they saw what they did. So I'm gonna try to do it. Hopefully it works. If it does, we're gonna do it. Uh, but day two. Okay guys, so this is the next day, like I just said. I did some research, I saw someone else do it, and they didn't take off, I think this is either like the fuel rail, or this, no, probably not, doesn't, no, actually, I don't think it's the fuel rail. I think it's like an oil return feed line. I'm not 100% sure, but whatever. Whatever the thing is though, I saw someone, they didn't take it off, and they just kind of moved it to the side. That's what I was thinking about doing yesterday. But I didn't know if it, if it would break it if you bent it slightly, or like moved it. But someone else did it and it seemed to work fine. So that's what I did. And as you can see, this is it. This is what it looks like now. So I have it off. I'm gonna I'm gonna be replacing the, the, the gasket while I'm in here as well. And just looking at everything, this belt still looks good. I'm just looking at the belt. It doesn't look like it's cracked or anything. So that's good. taking a peek at everything I mean now I know why a lot of people use Miatas it's that simple just to get right to the actual like pistons and the cams and everything like that huh I mean I mean that took a little bit of work but like compared to like I was looking at I was actually looking at um, doing a head gasket on a Jeep and like just the amount of accessories you have to take off just to get to that versus this is like a lot it's a lot difference so now i know why i mean a lot of people do you know do with me out because i'm like oh yeah it took me like a little bit of time but 
wasn't that hard to do. So, anyways, but now that we have that taken off, we're gonna go get to the actual valve cover now. This is the valve cover. I think what I'm gonna do, a lot of people take this off. I think I may take this off. I'm not sure, uh, man, yeah, I guess I should. Take this off, take this off, take this off. I'll clean this up and then we will, I guess, I'm gonna use some water, rub it down, wash it, then I'll use some sandpaper and just sand it. So that's gonna take me some time. I'm gonna sand the whole thing down and then after that, I'm going to uh, mask everything off and just get it ready to be painted. So this is gonna be a tedious process. So we're gonna start doing that and then we're gonna get going on everything else. But I really want this to come out at least nice looking. So yeah, let's keep it, keep it going. Whoa. It's actually a couple hours later. It's like, yeah, I've been at least sanding and cleaning this thing for a while now. My biggest thing is I want to make sure that the front is really cleaned and just removed of any dust particles or anything like that. I think I'm going to blow it all. Use an air blower to make sure there's no particles or anything on this at all. The back, cleaned it up as much as I could. I've literally spent like two and a half hours doing this so far. So the back is cleaned as much as I can, but I'm gonna really, I really want to make sure the front this part you're going to see. A lot of the stuff inside the middle is going to be covered up because with my engine, the, the spark plug like wires are going to go over this. So this shouldn't be that visible, the sides and stuff like that. You know, they'll be visible, but not as much. But the front, I want to make sure it's the clean as I possibly can do. I've used sandpaper, um, had cleaner, some wire brushes and stuff like that. Went over it and I did as much as I possibly can do. I'm just going to wipe, wiping everything down and use some rubbing alcohol to wipe, try to get anything off. Then I'm just rubbing it, like not rubbing it, I'm cleaning it off one more time, make sure everything's completely clear as I possibly can be. This is, I mean, it's not as clean as what it could be. Like I've seen people spent, you know, hours and hours and hours doing it. I'm cleaning it up as much as I possibly can do. Um, I've spent like two and a half hours doing this. So, you know, it, you can it, really with painting it's really about the preparation so I really want to make sure like this is as good as I possibly can get it before I go ahead and do it I'm gonna mask everything off and then I'm gonna start doing some uh, some painting but it looks a lot better this thing was so disgusting before it's a lot better now um, but yeah we're just gonna keep going on cleaning continuous cleaning we're gonna clean some more and then we're gonna start the painting process so uh, yeah Couple hours later, this thing looks 
actually like really nice. I used some some heat to kind of help dry it. Uh, like after like two hours, I kind of like just went over it lightly with some heat. This looks great. So I have to reassemble everything now. It shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna assemble. Take this up. Oh, perfect. I was a little bit nervous to see if this stuff when I was gonna peel off the paint, if it was gonna peel, not peel off the paint. When I was gonna peel off the tape, if it was gonna peel up the paint. But it's not, so that's good. So I'm gonna, I guess, start assembling everything. Should be a pretty straightforward process, putting everything back. I'm gonna be very careful when I put this whole thing back in. Gonna like slide it underneath that uh, rail so it doesn't scratch up the paint. If it does, at least it's in the far back. The front looks like incredible, so can't wait to see how this looks. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's button everything up and um, yeah. Take a look. Oh, that actually looks really good. Does it? Yeah. Can I touch it? Yeah. Good. It feels so smooth. Yeah, there's. I sanded it down with a lot of stuff. Wow, that looks like really good. Doesn't <laughs> I it? I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. To look that good. I'm. 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 I am happy that I stuck through and I actually did it. I was nervous because this part, this this line, I couldn't get off. But I was able to like push it back and slide the whole thing off. See, like this thing I didn't paint because like a lot of other people don't because I when I took it off, I took this whole thing off too. Which I, I don't know. I kind of wish I would have painted that black or did something because now that looks kind of like... Nah, I think it looks really good the way it is. I think it would cheapen the way the purple looks. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. But do you think the purple looks looks good though? Yeah. I'm actually, this, this paint was actually like really nice. This is like the high temperature paint that's meant for engines. So that's good. And like... My biggest thing, reason why I, I clean, that's the reason I, the reason I was out here so long, I was cleaning it and then sanding it. You can tell it looks really nice. Yeah, it looks like it's really nice. I mean, the back, the far back isn't like the best, but it's because it's, it's in the back. I don't care about that. But the front, I think like the front yeah, looks. Look All right, guys, so sorry. I know this isn't a great shot, but there's too much light coming from the back. So you can't really see me if I'm facing outwards. But anyways, um, so just got done with everything. That was, uh, I don't know, on a scale of 1 to 10, what do I think? Like a 6. I mean, I did get discouraged in the first part because I didn't, I couldn't get that one bolt off to get that metal uh, rail off. So that kind of discouraged me. But after doing a little more research, I figured out you can actually remove it with that metal piece still attached. You have to kind of like push it back and just slide the whole thing out. Um, but honestly, after that, it's pretty just straightforward. It's just undoing, you know, bolts and just like, you know, masking it up. The time it took me to do it was actually like a pretty decent amount of time because I just, I really tried to make sure I sanded it. I washed it, I sanded it, and then to redo the gasket as well. It just took a lot of time just doing that. But like, you know, maybe that was, Total, total time, total time, probably like six hours that that was to make sure it like looks nice. I think it looks good. I think the end result, it looks cool. Um, it's a nice little look to it. So I'm happy with that. Um, uh, so now I'm really seeing why people like the Miatas because of like 
taking off the whole valve cover, getting access to the cams and everything like that really wasn't that, like, hard. So, like, yeah, I mean, so, like, I totally now feel a little more comfortable, like, doing more and more stuff to it. So, I know, down, down the line, I'm definitely, like, yeah, I could definitely tackle bigger projects myself. So, uh, yeah, but... Like that, I'm gonna end the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. Follow me on Instagram, Omega Greed, the same name as the YouTube channel. Go to the website, geekswithcars.com. And like that, we're out of here. In the next video, we're gonna be doing some more stuff too. Either the Velocitaren, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, uh, Dodge Challenger RT, or the Miata. So who knows, but we'll see you in the next video. See you guys.